return of records, the vindication of vinyl. Today is Record Store Day 2023, a holiday of sorts for small businesses selling music. Fox 9's Corn Hoggard shows us how they celebrate it and why this day is so meaningful to their bottom line. A mass of music lovers lined the rows of records at Down in the Valley, seeking special releases sold for the first time on Saturday. Dolly Parton, Pearl Jam, and Madonna are among the big name artists releasing music specifically for Record Store Day. Twin Cities punk legends Husker Du put out a new live album from 1979 and 80, and bassist Greg Norton took it all in while meeting fans of his former band, which met at a record store. It's fun seeing what other records people are buying at the same time. Uh, it's, it's it's just makes me happy. The soundtrack for success at record stores like Down in the Valley and Golden Valley and Barely Brothers in St. Paul starts with a banger of a holiday. Well, you can see the big crowd here today at the Electric Fetus for Record Store Day, but the impact of this day will last much longer. It's kind of our time to showcase to new customers what we have, what we're all about. While Soul Asylum singer Dave Perner DJed in the back of Electric Fetus, owner Aaron Myring explained this day is his chance to meet new customers and try to keep them buying records. 43 million vinyl records sold last year, outpacing CDs for the first time in 35 years, according to the Recording Industry Association. It was the 16th straight year of vinyl sales growth. Perhaps not coincidentally, this is the 16th year of Record Store Day. And we're still selling records, but Record Store Day was started to, you know, be that, hey, we're still here. Record stores are still a fabric of society and coolness. Paid subscription services still beat vinyl with about 10 times the revenue. But even the digital generation is coming around with help from special Record Store Day releases by artists like Taylor Swift. Electric Fetus sold more than 400 of her folklore live album, emptying the shelves. This man comes over, he's like, I got the last copy. Avery Seed like, says she listens to her digital music a lot, but since getting a record player about a year ago, she started preferring the vinyl experience. She'll probably remember I got Taylor Swift on Record Today 2023 at the Electric Fetus, and, and that's pretty cool. Corin Hogger, Fox 9.